All right, all right, all right, here we go. All right, one, two, three, four, just kidding. All right, so first, I wanna let you know. I want you to live the happiest, healthiest life possible on this planet, right? So, I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about something that I like to call, well, everybody sort of calls. It's really simple. It's called squatting. It's, it's called squatting. It's just one of those, right? It's, it's, it's just one of those, it's, it's squatting. Believe it or not, that's one of the healthiest things you can do in your life, supposedly. Because, according to the Blue Zones research, which are areas around the world that where people are living the longest lives that they possibly can, which is something that I'm here for to help you do, um, is Blue Zones are areas where people are living beyond 100 years old. And they're living healthful lives, full until they're 100s and beyond full of centenarians or people that are living beyond 100 years old. And one interesting thing about those cultures is that, well, those cultures and areas around the world, um, is that, well, for some reason, they like to do a lot of squatting. And so that's one extra tool, one extra ta tactic, one extra technique that you can keep in your toolkit to keep you happy and healthy for the rest of your life. So whether or not you're out in the garden or you're leaning down to speak to a child or you might perhaps just be playing with your dog in the living room and you're on the floor rolling around, that's okay. And you can do it knowing that you are engaging in a healthful activity because, believe it or not, it's actually healthy for you to squat and it's an actual healthy movement practice. It's a practical tool within your toolkit. You don't have to go on a five mile run and then be exhausted. No, you can simply walk for one mile, squat for 30 seconds, or do any other of the wonderful, exciting movement techniques that you like to do with yourself or with others. And I just want to let you know that a simple extra thing is to squat. And if you want to squat, then squat some more. And if you want to squat some more after that, then keep on squatting. If you want to go to the gym and squat, if you want to go to the toilet and squat, you can squat there too. So whatever you do, just make sure that you squat well and squat more and more. Squat all the time, even, if you want. You can squat in the car, you can squat at home, you can squat on a walk. You might look a little odd, but you can squat all the time. Wherever you are, just remember to squat and squat well. Just kidding. All right, so again, squatting. It's really good for us. It's really good for us because, oh wait, I never told you why. Not just because other people do it and they live a long life. That's not really a really good reason for us to do it. We want to know why. Well, theory is that it engages our powerful leg muscles, our glutes, our hamstrings, our thighs and all of those powerful muscles help circulate our vascular system and our blood flow they get our blood flow going those are big engaging muscles that I've talked about before that are really good for us to help circulate everything in our bodies help circulate everything in our bodies and help keep us well for the rest of our lives circulating our nerves and circulating the kinks that get into the, into the hose, I like to say. Think of your circulation, think of your body, think of your nervous system and all of the ways that it goes like this in a fluid motion. Think of it like a hose and we don't want to kink in the hose because then it get, gets blocked and it's not fun having a kink in the hose, it's not fun having a kink in your back or your neck for instance. And so maybe you could hear those neck pops. Well. One way that you can stay healthy and happy and move more is to squat because it's really good for your legs, really good for your lymphatic system and your circulatory system for your blood flow to get your heart rate going as well apparently because I am racing. My heart is racing right now. Maybe it's racing because I'm talking on this video. Well, maybe it's time for me to end then because I've already spoken to you about everything I needed to as far as squatting goes. Like remember, you can squat at home, you can squat at work, you can squat in the car, and you can squat on the toilet. Whatever you do, just squat and squat well. Make sure that you squat 
as best you can. Squat, 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 squat. 